Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Now I'll bet you you knew that this was coming, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was the HMS Hood. And today is submarine day. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's where the uh, submarine's gonna come from now on, right after the hood. Okay, now what's going on here? <laughs> okay, I've uh, been getting a few comments about how dark the sub is going to be, unless I light it up. Okay, before I brought this model table upstairs five years ago, I knew that. <laughs> uh, I've mentioned this at least, at least two or three times before, that before I bought the, the uh, Bismarck and started on the Bismarck, I almost got this sub, and it was available here in Winnipeg at that time, but I kind of wanted the Bismarck, so yeah, that's the direction we went. Now finally I got the sub, but before I got the sub, I was watching other people building it. I mean, at that time, this kit was a fairly new thing, and uh, and I thought, hey, that, that looks great, and and I could see that it, that some people were lighting them up and some people weren't and I could see that the interior is very very hard to see unless you would have it lit really strongly from the outside and if you were to light, light it strongly from the outside now I didn't try this but I can imagine that you're going to get a lot of reflection back off of the the uh, plexiglass or plastic clear plastic that is covering it so that was sort of uh, um, spoil the uh, the uh, the interior and I did know that you know lighting it on the inside and if it's done done properly uh, it, it would be quite effective now I can't remember when it was I bought these these LED bulbs but but when I got them I can remember thinking they would be really good at lighting the inside of this submarine now, the only thing I'm wondering is that maybe they are just a little bit too too big. I've, I've got a, a, I think I've got about a hundred like this, clear ones, and then I've got some that are, that are, that are colored. I might be able to use the red ones. Uh, they might be appropriate in certain places. So I've got red, green, yellow, and then a, about a hundred clears. And I, I've got, uh, I've got a bunch of them going on my breadboard here. And uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but okay. Um, I know just enough about this kind of stuff to get myself into trouble, and just enough that I am able to light up the inside of this sub if, if, and I, I strongly say if, I feel motivated to do so at the time. I may not want to. It could be by the time I get to the to the place where I have to start wiring the individual modules, I'll be so fed up. <laughs> but I don't think so. I think I'm going to enjoy this. There's going to be some tough aspects of it, I can tell right now. And uh, it, and and it, it could be that there is going to be a lot less. You remember when I painted the inside of the outer shell? That big long piece. It could be there will be less of that that is visible than I thought. I've done a little bit more investigating. Um, but uh, anyway, we don't need to talk about that until we get to it. I guess when we start putting the modules and everything in and covering it up, uh, then we'll know for sure, right? But as far as the lighting goes, guys, I, I know how to do it, sort of. Not real well, but uh, enough that it'll be lit up on the inside. But uh, once again, I've got to emphasize, I've got to feel like doing it. I've got to enjoy doing it. I used to enjoy tinkering like this when I was, when I was younger. Uh, yeah, I can remember, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but, uh, well, I know I mentioned the fact that years ago I had made several uh, uh, 135th scale uh, army tanks. Uh, and <laughs> one of the kits, I don't know if it was a Tamiya kit, I think it was a Tamiya kit, you could you could wire it up and it had it had two little electric motors and then it had a little remote control and you push you know you push one button and they both drive and you push the right button and just the right right one will drive and it'll turn left or something like that and I thought you know what if I was to uh, 
put a rheostat in it, I could I could variable it would be like variable control, and I could make a real gradual turn and or, or a real sharp turn, and and I was horsed around with this thing that I made up, <laughs> and it it actually worked, and I enjoyed doing that sort of stuff. But, but that was oh my goodness, when was that? That was that was before before the my kids were born. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I, I don't. Uh, Oh, and <laughs> I had a large kitchen table uh, uh, after that. And what I did was I made a mobile uh, hanging from the hanging from a light over the kitchen over the kitchen table. It wasn't in this house. It was two houses before this yet, and uh, and the, and I could have the control in my hand and it would wire it up to the to the mobile, and I could drive the. <laughs> army tank all over the place uh yeah the, the kid in me was really coming out uh anyway uh so i, I guess what i'm trying to tell you is i kind of know how to do this uh, uh i kind and i kind of know that yes that this sub should be lit on the inside to, to to see it right um you know what I, I was thinking this morning that that had i bought got this sub first the case that I built over there would be big enough to accommodate it right now. All I had to do was, it, it wouldn't have cost me probably any extra actually to to uh, to, to build it. Uh, oh, uh, you know, like this this much wider than it is now. Then it would have then it would have would have accommodated the sub. But uh, at the time, I made it just big enough to accommodate what I thought was the size of the Yamato. And the Yamato hadn't even come out in one 200 skill yet. So, uh, at least not by trumpeter. And uh, so, uh, that's why it is the size that it is. <laughs> uh, and uh, as you will remember, it just barely, the, the, uh, the USS Iowa just barely fits in it with just maybe this much space to spare just just uh yeah i cheated murphy's law there <laughs> okay so uh I, I think we probably beat this to death here uh we don't need to talk about lighting anymore uh i might do it and i might not no about uh oh i gotta tell you this this morning i did something i was afraid that i might do someday uh, usually what I'll do is I'll get my coffee pot ready for <clears throat> for the next morning. At, I'll do it in the evening and it'll be all ready to go, so all I have to do is just turn it on. And Okay, well I, I didn't uh, last night, so that means I had to do it all this morning. So, uh, oh, about oh, a few months ago, I, I went and I turned the coffee pot on and I realized, hey, I didn't put the carafe underneath the, the basket. Well, I guess you know what happened this morning, right? Yep. <laughs> the carafe sitting beside the coffee pot, and the coffee pot's dripping down. I, I, I'm in the other room checking my email, and I can hear that the, the coffee pot is just about at the end of its cycle because it starts making an extra strong gurgling noise. And uh, so I thought, well, I may as well come out and get my coffee. And I come out and here on the floor there's a little pool of coffee and it's running down the front of my dishwasher and off the counter and oh my goodness I had a mess to clean up. I was afraid that someday I might do that. I'll probably never do it again now because I'm acutely aware of the fact that yes you <laughs> you're capable of gross stupidity. <laughs> okay yeah so uh, my coffee here is uh, from the second batch of coffee. Now mind you Fortunately, I had chosen to only make a, a, a small pot of coffee, so I didn't lose a whole lot. And the basket itself, it was still had a lot of a lot of coffee in it, so I'm, I'm pro I probably only lost about a cupful to the floor, <laughs> but enough to make a mess. Oh yes, yes, yes. The things that happen when you get old, you know. <laughs> yeah, and he thinks he's going to drive a motorcycle this spring. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yes, I got I got everything I need pretty much. I, I might have to buy some really fine wiring. I don't know if I've got 
uh, yeah, I might have wire down my workshop that I could use. Um, now that I think about it, I probably wouldn't have to buy anything. No, uh, but like I say, we'll just have to test when the time comes. Are, are these bulbs maybe just a little bit too large in diameter? They just might not look realistic. Um, <clears throat> because they are going to more or less replace or at least go alongside of uh, the, the lighting that we are, the little lighting units that we are going to be putting in. You know, I think they might be just about the right size. Uh, anyway, we'll worry about that then. I don't want to get into that now. I got a, a lot. I want to. I want to stay on track here. Uh, we'll try and com complete steps one and two. And uh, um, we do have to paint the uh, the brown on right here. And uh, and then there's the there's two different types of brown go on these pieces. I want to do that today. Uh, try and keep everything in order. I want to paint as I go along. I don't want to wait till the end and find out that I should have painted something and, and now I can't because of, I, I, I guess you might call it unpainted myself into a corner. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, Tennessee Jim, uh, thank you. Yeah, this, this, this is a courtesy Tennessee Jim. He uh, wanted me to get myself something uh, for my birthday that I normally wouldn't get and so <laughs> this is what I got and it, it's going to come in pretty handy most likely in this build all being well um, no of course you, I don't need it I could use uh, use batteries I know these things are three volts but this way I, I can mess around with batteries and resistors and everything I, I don't know if I'd want the bulbs inside the uh, submarine glowing that bright one nice thing about LEDs, they just seem to last forever, don't they? Uh, now, I know they don't last forever, but they probably will last a lot longer than me. And so I was thinking, what would I do? Would I have a switch and turn, turn it on and off and on and off? And I was thinking, uh, no, just leave them on all the time. They don't, <clears throat> there's no, no heat involved, so you don't need to worry about them melting the plastic. Yeah. Anyway, once again, we'll see what happens when we get to that place. Now, uh, let's do something... Uh, profitable or uh, yeah I guess you call it profitable uh, today and uh, and get some some more painting done I don't think I'm going to be doing any more spraying uh, hey but wasn't that slick when I took that needle cap off uh, yesterday and, and the spitting stopped man I wish I'd thought of that earlier because I've had trouble with spitting before and I never thought what's what's causing it I always thought it was something like maybe uh, you know, like air, air, air bubbles or something were getting getting into the spray, and and it was causing it to spit, or was it little chunks of paint, or well, because little chunks of paint usually plug it right up, and that's not what was happening. But here it was; it was building up on the end of the of the uh, needle cap, and uh, all of a sudden exploding out of there. That's that's what was happening. Okay, uh, let's move on. Okay, we are still in step number one here, at least as far as painting goes, uh, because we haven't finished the uh, torpedoes yet. And uh, according to the guide, we need uh, to do, do the propellers, we need H9. Okay, H9 or Tamiya X12. And. Uh, so let me move over here and get my paint. Okay, as it turns out, I've got both of them. And now I'm going to use the, uh, the uh, Mr. Hobby because I want to try it out. It, uh, let's see what they look like from the bottom here. Yeah, there, there is a slight difference. Uh, this... Uh, this is, uh, okay, yeah, I, th I don't know which one would look more like, okay, let's let's go with the, uh, the, the Mr. Hobby and see what it's going to do here. I'll just take this in the back room and, and shake it up, and uh, uh, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, uh, for those of you who have just started watching this channel, and you've heard me probably every once in a while say something about, I went in the back room, and shook up the paint. Well, this is the back room, and this is my paint shaker. And I'll move you in and I'll show you. 
<laughs> yeah, it's quite a contraption. This is a electric motor that I saved out of an old furnace. When I upgraded my furnace, I saved the motor. One of these days I'm going to uh, put a switch on this so I don't have to keep plugging it in and out of something. Okay, here we go. Hey, hey I'm all shook up. Uh-huh. <laughs> Gotta have a little bit of fun. Okay. And as another well known person once said, we are shaken, not stirred. Now, I am going to find it very hard to not get this gold on the stabilizing fins here when I'm painting. So I may as well just accept the fact that I'm going to have to repaint these with the uh, with the gray. Uh, somebody had suggested it would have been a, a good idea to maybe have uh, you know painted the propellers and everything before I installed them uh, in, in, the, in here and I'm realizing now that that might have been a better idea. I had thought about it, but, but the reason I didn't go for that at the time is I was afraid that that when I tried to glue everything in place here, that the glue would cause the paint to run. So I, I guess, you know, I, I'm, you know, I was sort of between a rock and a hard place here. So um, maybe we'll try and mount this in something and slip the macro lens on and try and get in nice and close and you can you know, laugh along with me here. Yeah, I, I, there's, there's, there's going to be no way I'm going to be able to not get this gold paint on, on these stabilizing fins. Uh, at, at least, at least this, this part of it. Uh, but, but we should be able to touch that up after. It'd be a lot easier to, to touch, touch this, this up uh, afterwards than to try and touch the propellers up. Um, anyway, uh, maybe I'll just put this back on here until I get myself organized. Okay, it seems to take me a long time to get anything done like this. Anyway, here's the plan. Um, got, I've got this sort of a jig going on so that I can lay the torpedo in here and then rotate it and hopefully this area right here is going to stay in the same place. Now, whoops, uh, <laughs> as you can see uh, this thing moves around Quite easily because it's so light, and uh, just using the uh, the paint paintbrush would almost move everything around. Well, maybe not quite. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put a weight in this, and that'll just sort of help make it a little bit more steady. Okay. Then, then when I turn it, it's not going to move on me. Uh, okay. Now let's get the macro lens on. Okay, I've got my magnification hood on here, and whenever I do that, my peripheral vision goes down the drain. But I think I should be able to rotate this around here so that everybody can see it nicely. And I'm thinking that I'm probably going to have to shake this, this uh, paint up every so often because the pigment is probably going to settle to the bottom. Okay, let's just... See if we can get in there now. Oh, somebody's at my door. Wouldn't you know it? It's Missy. I'll be right back. I'm coming, Missy. Oh my goodness. It smells strongly of hairspray. Oh my. 
my goodness, you look so pretty. Yes, you look so pretty. All right, just for that, you get a cookie. <laughs> okay, see you later. Watch your steps. <laughs> All right, I'm coming back. Yeah, Missy got a haircut. All right. Okay, I'm just resampling here. And uh, where were we? Looks like I got some bubbles going on there. Yeah, there's there's not going to be any way that I'm not going to be able to not get this stuff on the uh, on the stabilizing fins well I don't know actually this this paint is going on really nice the uh, the gray is acting like a primer let's see now turn this a little bit this way, can I get in there now? This is where our friend Gabe excels. Now I can't get at the other side of that blade unless I was to turn the whole thing about 90 degrees. And in order to do that, oh, actually I can, I can get at it from, from, from the top here. This is kind of fun, this is, this, I find this very relaxing. Missy got a haircut. Wonder if I can get down through like this. Not not very good. Okay, yeah, there are just some things that are difficult to video while you're doing them, and, and this sort of thing is one of those because you want to have it be able to turn the, the, uh, the uh, subject, you know, this way and that way. I think once once this dries, it's going to be all right. Um, I was thinking maybe doing you know two or three of these on camera, but I can see now that it's it's not to, that won't that won't work out because the uh, I have to shake up the paint every once in a while which I haven't done yet, by the way. But I'm noticing that the, I'm getting lots of the carrier, but not too much of the pigment. And this is my imagination here. Um, I'm 
Okay, you know, you know what? I'm going to have to uh, finish this this off camera and do it properly, and then we'll we'll take a, a nice close look at it. Okay, I didn't get as much paint on the fins as I thought I was going to, and uh, uh, the the paint is still wet. So I think that possibly when it dries, it's going to uh, sort of shrink wrap a little bit better around the blades, and there'll be better definition. Now, just just for perspective here, okay? Just for perspective, we're uh, talking about really small stuff here. So, okay, I'm going to do the other uh, torpedoes off camera and just try and quickly get them done. Okay, I have just edited out everything we have shot up until right now, and this video is plenty long enough. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I get a coffee visitor. He's coming again today. I know this week got screwed up a little bit, and he's coming two days in a row. I'm going to have to charge him extra. <laughs> no, I'm glad he comes. Okay, uh, yeah, I, uh, I think we're about as... as done as we can get here because you don't want to have to watch me painting the rest of these torpedoes. Uh, I'll probably, probably poke away at it for the rest of the day. Uh, in the meantime, uh, oh, I think we might have a sunrise, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'll, I'll go work on that yet. I still, I still have enough time. I should be able to get, if there's anything, I'll stick it at the end of today's episode. So, uh, uh, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, We'll see you tomorrow.